guys how are you i hope you guys are well and i hope i can encourage you guys to this evening i hope i can uplift you guys this evening it's still evening and it's dark here in canada in the evenings i think it gets darker early in other countries too but um continuing with yesterday's message yesterday's message is god trusts you with what he cannot trust others with that's why he picked you for certain missions some people cannot be trusted for certain missions and if you guys haven't checked out that video you may want to check that video out it's a very good video very good message and um i want to well before that i looked in the comment section i saw a lot of you guys saying like you really needed that in that moment confirmation and some of you guys it really made me emotional when it when you said it brought you to tears because remember i told you in the beginning of that video i said i'm gonna get emotional too because it really hit hard hi holy spirit <laughs> thank you holy spirit thank you for coming through i love when the holy spirit enters the room okay or the car <laughs> so i just want to say i'm so happy guys i am so happy because God, I'm going to share something. I'm not going to go into full details, but God shared some amazing things with me last night. He showed me some things. And which is literally the confirmation that I need, which is the only validation I need. I'm just going to say, guys, when the Holy Spirit tells you that he is proud of you, that's, that's all the validation. That's all the confirmation that you need. Whenever you hear the Holy Spirit say, I'm proud of you, continue to do what he's do He's telling you to do and, and continue to go where he's leading you. And don't let anybody throw you off your path. Don't let anyone try to mute you. Don't let anyone try to shut you up. Don't let anyone try to gaslight you. Don't let any try anyone try to twist your words. Continue to do what the Holy Spirit told you to do. Continue to be obedient in your walk with the Holy Spirit. Because... The only validation you need is from the Holy Spirit. You don't need validation from anybody. You don't need validation from man. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because the Holy Spirit gave me so much confirmations last night that gave me a whole different perspective of things. Not only that, but he showed me some things that's very sacred between him and I that just lets me know that I'm on the right path and although I really want to share what he showed me and I can't I'm going to tell you the things that he the word that he gave me that he wants me to share with y'all because it's going to help you on your path because everyone has their own relationship with the Holy Spirit everyone has their personal relationship with the Holy Spirit hence why you'll never see me telling someone they don't have God in them or telling someone Especially if, if, if they're not doing anything demonic or evil. You would never see me telling someone. God is not talking to you. God is not around you. God is not with you. You would never see me saying these words. Because you don't know the type of relationship someone has with the Holy Spirit. You won't know what some type of relationship someone else has. Because you're not there. Because you're not hearing the conversation. You're not seeing the visions. You're not seeing the dreams that God is sharing to someone. Because that's between God and them. That's about their destiny, their mission, their calling, their purpose, their will. You know? And I just want to say that remember something. For anyone that has been going through this, because just like going back to the video I said yesterday, and yesterday um, where I talked about God trusts you with what a lot of people. He cannot trust a lot of people with. God can see what you do behind closed doors. God sees what you do behind closed doors. If you are walking with God and you have a calling with God. And you are someone that goes to work. And as soon as you walk in that workplace, you have co-workers gossiping, gossiping about you. You have co-workers putting you down. You have co-workers slandering you. You leave the workplace, you go home, you have family slandering you. 
You remove yourself from those family members. You have friends slandering you. Whatever is going on in your life, in your situation, you know, it could be a school. It could be anything. It could be in a church. Oftentimes, people think they know more about you than you know about yourself. Oftentimes, people think they know about you more than what God knows. Oftentimes, people think they know it all, but they don't. I want to say something to you guys, and here's why I want to say continue walking with the Holy Spirit and continue walking in your call. And let me tell you why. Because people will try to say things to discourage you, to throw you off the path, to make you change your path, to make you lose faith, to make you doubt God. And if you don't hear the Holy Spirit like some people can, but you can feel him and you can receive visions and dreams, or if you don't receive visions, dreams, visions and dreams like some people can, but you can hear him, or if you can't hear him or you don't get visions at all, but you can just feel him, sometimes the outside noise, sometimes it can creep in. Sometimes it can. And sometimes you may gaslight yourself and start believing things because you really want to make sure you're doing the right thing, especially when you're a child of God and you're really trying to do the best you can. You will take other people's criticism, other people's hate, other people's opinion. You will sometimes take it into consideration. Why? Because you want to make sure that you're actually doing the right thing. And yes, it can be dangerous to do that. But let me tell you something. Oftentimes when people do this stuff to you, the very same people in that workplace, whatever is going on, whether it's family, workplace, friends, whoever, the very same people that monitor your every move, that feed that monitoring spirit within them and monitor your every move 24 hours a day, the very, the very people that sit on the telephone and talk about you for hours, the very people that sit in a church room and discuss you negatively for hours, the people that send emails back and forth to each other that discuss you for hours, like I said, workplace, family, whoever, could be your employer, could be employees, the very people that sit there and use their time that is valuable, that is valuable. The time that can be taken away from them like that. Because tomorrow's not promised. The very people that choose to use time that cannot be given back to tear you down, to slander you, to make you feel low, to put you down, whatever they're doing, remember something. That's how they choose to use their time. Why? Because they don't value their life. They don't value their time. And while they are doing that, you are behind the scenes doing the work of God with your time. You are behind the scenes in making sure that a homeless person ate for the day. You are behind the scenes organizing charity. You are behind the scenes uplifting strangers in a grocery store. You are behind the scenes having conversations at the drive throughs with people, encouraging them. How's your day today? And, and preaching the word of the gospel. Telling someone, I, oh, God bless you. My pastor talked about something like this today. You know, it's very important how you leave off what you leave when you meet people. Don't leave by. Instead, say, God bless you. Leave something positive when you leave behind. And he confirmed the, the word that God was talking to me about last night, which is what I'm sharing with you now. He confirmed it. My pastor even mentioned John. And John, God showed me John like two nights ago in a vision. You know? You're behind the scenes doing the works of God with your time. So while these people waste their time doing spell work on you, while they waste their time chanting, all hours of the night they are spending all these hours of their day feeding the monitoring spirit 
And while they're spending hours of the day focused on you and trying to figure out how to tear you down, you are spending your time fulfilling God's mission. So let me ask you a question. Now that you now that you hear this and you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff that I do behind closed door stuff that people don't know about. Wow, stuff, you're right. Let me tell you something. The people that are busy doing this to you, they will never see that. Why? Because what's more important to them is figuring out how to make you look bad and figuring out how to block you and how to stop you. What's more important to you is pleasing God. So let me tell you something. God sees all. There's a, there's a scripture, I think it's in Proverbs, and it says that God has eyes on everything, the good and the evil. God has eyes. It says, the scripture says God has eyes everywhere. <laughs> God has eyes everywhere. He sees the good and he sees the evil. That's in Proverbs. Right? So let me ask you a question. If God has eyes everywhere and he sees the good and he sees the evil, guess what God is seeing? God is seeing that these people are spending their time worried about you spending their time plotting against you spending their time doing evil but God is seeing behind the scenes the lies that you're changing God is seeing behind the scenes your kind gestures God is seeing behind the scenes the people you are uplifting God is seeing behind the scenes the nights you cry but still get up and still prosper you still get up and you still work hard you still get up and fulfill his mission despite being tired you still get up and pray all hours of the night to fight out for warfare you still get up and have a smile on your face when you in the grocery store when you in the coffee shop when you in school when you in work you still get up and you are still kind to people you still get up and feed the homeless you still get up and try to figure out what's next on the path that he has for you that can change someone else's lives. God sees what you're doing with your time compared to what these evildoers are doing with their time. God can see that. So while these people are out there thinking that they're right about whatever it is they want to think about you, or about whatever it is they wish and hope is true about you, What they don't understand is they're messing up their own life. And this is why God tells us it's so important to focus on your peace. It's so important to focus on him. It's so important to not lose focus on the mission, on the calling. Do not lose focus of this. Reason being is because at the end of the day, God is who is leading you. At the end of the day, these people are not messing up your life. They're messing up their own life. At the end of the day, if you focus on his calling and what he's telling you to do and you are obedient and you are pleasing the Lord, you're establishing your own life. So while these people think they're really messing up your life, whatever it is they're doing, remember something. It's their life. If that's what they choose to do with their time, it's their life, not yours. You know the difference between good and bad. You know the difference between wrong and right. So do they. You picked a side. So did they. You get it? It talks about in John, because I read John last night, it talks about in John that a child of God is light, is of light. A child of God would not do anything that is dark. A child of God will love. It talks about in John that anyone that says they they hate their brother and sister but says they love Christ is a liar it says anyone that says they hate their brothers and sisters and people don't have to speak it 
People don't have to speak that they hate someone. Their actions will prove it. Their actions will prove it. And that's why I always tell you guys, God knows the hearts. God knows the mind and the motives. Just because a person doesn't say they hate someone does not mean they don't secretly hate them in their heart. God, God knows. God can feel that. And anyone that hates their brothers and sisters and says they love God is a liar. And they're not filled with light. They're not filled with the Holy Spirit. In fact, they're filled with evil. That's why I said, you know the difference between good and bad, right and wrong, so do they. You pick the side, so do they. This is why God says, do not repay evil with evil, or you'll be no different from them. This is why God says, love your enemies. Because why? If you love God, you'll love your enemies. So hear me out. I'm going to say it again. Anyone is experiencing this, hate, slander, witchcraft, spell work, anyone's experiencing people trying to tear them down, block their mission, block their purpose, everything like that. Remember something. That's what they choose to do with their life and their time. Figure out what you're going to choose to do with yours. Remember something. What you do behind closed doors, God sees. Because God has eyes everywhere. So it doesn't matter what people think about you. It doesn't matter what they say about you. It doesn't matter. And this, honestly, when God gave me this word last night, it really helped me not even care about the nonsense that's going on. It helped me not even care about it. What he said is the truth. Why should you care? You shouldn't. Why shouldn't you care? Because why care about what someone who doesn't know your personal life doesn't see the goods that you're doing behind the scenes? Why should you care about what a person like that thinks? You shouldn't. And you have to remember something. Even if you don't get the vindication that you want, even though God will vindicate you, he'll vindicate you by preparing at the table in the presence of your enemies because they're choosing to use their time irresponsibly. The hard work you're choosing to use your time to do behind the scenes is what's going to help prepare at that table. And best believe something, even though you may not get the vindication as in God may not actually prove a lot of people wrong about you, remember something. When God, when the, it's these people, it's time to go. their judgment day comes the people who done spell work on you the people who tried to block you the people who tried to lie on you the people who tried to deframe you the people who hurt you abused you whatever that happened remember something the hard work you're doing behind the scenes that no one knows about that you're choosing your, to use your time wisely to do when these people's time comes and it's time for them to leave this earth and they have a meeting with God God is going to have to rewind the tape God is going to have to rewind your story for them to view God is going to rewind that story for them to view of your life and he's going to say remember when you plot against this person this is what he or she was doing behind the scenes while he was doing that remember when you lied on this person this is what he or she was doing behind the scenes while he was doing that remember when you accused this person of doing this this is what he and she was actually doing when you were accusing them you remember when you sat long hours on the telephone gossiping about this person this is what he and she was doing behind the scenes. 
at the end of the day when you leave here God has to rewind your story for you and for others that's where the real judgment comes in that's where the real vindication comes in so while being here on earth where it doesn't matter what man says your main mission should be focusing on pleasing God your main mission should be on being obedient to what God needs you to do and not caring what other people say not caring what other people feel about you not caring about the negativity protecting your peace because why you already know your vindication is going to come through when it's time for you to leave here and when it's time for them to leave here you already know God's going to show them every single thing that they thought they knew about you that wasn't true God remember something at the end of the day God wins at the end of the day God will make a fool of your mockers whether they like it or not and they don't have to be physically living for him to make a fool of them you get it so that's why it's so important to stay focused on your mission despite what's going on because a lot of what's actually going on right now for anyone going through this is called a distraction it's called a distraction everything you're doing behind the scenes is what's leading you to your calling your purpose everything you're doing behind the scenes is what's going to help elevate you. Everything you're doing behind the scenes takes hard work, dedication, obedience, sacrifice, love for God. It takes all of that. And if you let the devil defeat you by distracting you, you're also going to choose to use your time unwisely. You're putting yourself on their level by doing that. They don't care about their life. They don't care about their time. That's why they choose to focus their time and energy on you and not what God needs them to do. Who do you think God's going to be more pleased with? The child that's behind the scenes doing good gestures, spending their using their time that way, or the child that's sitting there plotting, gossiping, and using their time that way. Like I said in the other video that I posted yesterday, this is why God said he can trust you with what he's giving you because he cannot trust others because of what they're choosing to do with their time. Their, people are literally choosing to live in darkness by doing these things. They're choosing that. How can God trust someone with a, a big mission, a big assignment, if five hours out of their day they're gossiping and speaking badly about someone? If they use their whole day plotting against tearing someone down or plotting against how to block someone? Why would God trust these individuals with big assignments? If that's what they're choosing to use their time for. So, just remember that. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And just say, just stay focused. And just do what God needs you to do. To anyone that's watching this, going through this. Stay focused. And do what God needs you to do. So crazy how the police just came with the sirens like that that's so crazy <laughs> stay focused and do what god needs you to do y'all stay focused and do what god needs you to do that's the most important thing once you actually come to this realization and you really take in the things that i really spoke to you about today in this video 
you will do whatever you can to protect your peace. And you will not let anything or anyone distract you from where God needs you to be. Because remember what I told you guys, God has eyes everywhere. He sees what you, how you choose to spend your 24 hours compared to how someone else spends their 24 hours. God could see that. And you know who he's gonna bless? He's gonna bless the one who chooses to use their 24 hours doing his will, doing what he needs them to do. That's who he's gonna bless. Why? Because that's obedience. Anyways, love you guys. Talk to you soon.